Hey guys, so today I will be doing a makeup transformation on this specimen number one here. We will be doing a full glam, blown out look. Hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Do I look awkward? I need to see my face, man. So the first thing we're going to do is moisturize her face because we are going for a full glam look. We want her makeup to stay intact and her skin not to be patchy. So moisturizing will really help with that prior to priming. So the next thing we're going to go in with is with the Eve Pearl Invisible Powderless Powder. This stuff is so good and it gives you a really smooth, clean slate in your face so you can start off like a blank canvas. And it really acts like a primer as well, so I'm going to be using this as a primer. So just for the heck of it, I am just going to go in with the primer water from Smashbox Cosmetics just so that I can get a nice, um, another layer of primer. Next, we're going to color correct her discoloration on her face with Max Prep and Prime in Peach Luster. Um, as you can see, she has darkness around her mouth and under her eyes. Yeah, because we don't have perfect skin like Charlie Smart, right? Whatever, guys? but I'm just saying that all of us have moustaches, but hers is more prominent, <laughs> if you know what I mean. The reason why I'm using this corrector slash highlighter is because it mattifies really well and it doesn't move when I add my foundation on. It doesn't move with the foundation, whereas with other correctors, it just glides away uh, and you require to set that and all that stuff and it's just too much work for me, guys. I just can't help it. And now we're just going to blend that corrector through so that it looks like a part of skin and not just an organ on an organ. Which is okay. today, just blend. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shit, that was kind of loud. Okay, now that she officially looks like an Oompa Loompa. Well, bitch, this Oompa Loompa gonna make you famous. Well, I'm gonna make you famous, girl. I'm just saying. We're exactly. just gonna go in. Whatever. We're just gonna... Get your free Wi-Fi using this hourglass foundation today. So now that she looks like the character from Avatar, um, you just want to blend in with a MAC Oval brush. Yeah. At least I made a few million. Are you sure? Millions, guys. Millions. Oh my god, like whatever. She likes to just butt in every time I speak. Anyways, guys, you really need this oval brush. It's amazing. It feels like, like butter on skin, literally. It really justifies the foundation that you're applying your face, really. Next, I'm just going to set her face with a setting powder from the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette using my Morphe. I think it's the E41 brush if I'm not mistaken. So we're almost done with the face stuff. I'm just going to do the eye makeup right now and get back to the face later. So yeah, we're just prepping her eye with concealer we're using the NC 35 concealer from MAC. I do not know why she's smiling like I a freaking retard. <laughs> We're gonna go in with this white eyeshadow to just seal the deal in and literally give a smooth surface to apply her eyeshadow later. So next, we're going to go in with the Morphe 350M palette. It is this most amazing palette, especially for transition colors. Um, I'm going to be going in with this peachy color and this camel color um, for the transition color. So for the intense bit, guys, you want to blend your product gradually. I mean, don't go cray cray in the start. You just want to start slowly but surely. So how I do this is by starting in the outer corner of the eye where most of the product is concentrated on and just bring it all the way to the front where the inner corner is so it gives a really nice gradual smooth gradient and I built from there. Next, we're going to go in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in white just to cover that lid because we're going to put color in it to make that color pop. You want a white base 
So yeah, just starting from the middle and I will be blending it through. Coming in with my Zoeva brush, I am just going to blend in that white and brown and marry them together guys. To get a more pigmented finish, I'm spritzing my Morphe brush with my Max Fix Plus. I'm using the Morphe S palette, this emerald green color in it. Um, I'm just applying it on the center of my lids, on her lids, whatever, and then just going into her crease, blending it upwards very lightly. Notice that I'm holding the edge of the brush very lightly so that the distribution of the product is a bit more even and it blends really well. Now I'm just going in with the Makeup Addiction pencil brush to blend that whole look so that it comes together really nice as well. To make any smoky eye or any eye makeup pop in, you really want to add black towards the outer corner of the eye. So that's exactly what I'm doing, especially for a smoky eye. You can use any black color you want, but I'm in love with this Ella Masca Rose Gold palette. The black in it, it is freaking amazing guys. It is so pigmented, it almost looks like freaking eyeliner, like no shit. Next, without applying more product, I'm just going to blend that with the same precision brush. The key to any smoky eye is to blend it really well, so I'm going in with my pencil brush to blend that whole look. Just because we want to make it pop it, we want to add more green to her lids. You see how that just makes a difference, guys? So of course, just to make it look even more glam, I am just going to go back in with that black and accentuate the look. Oh my god, I totally had to put this clip up because I really think she could model for Yeezy. <laughs> now we're just going to clean her eyebrows by using this spoolie from Bobbi Brown. To get that a little bit more defined shape, I'm going in with this lemon concealer from MAC. Just cleaning up right below her brow. Using this really huge ass concealer brush, I'm just going to blend upwards so that my eye makeup does not get messy. Going in with the colorized paper from MAC, I'm just highlighting her brow bone. So to further stir the jungle clear, we're just going to shape starting from the center of her brow so that's where I want to concentrate the product more and I will be lining the beginning of her eyebrows right after so it has this lighter, lighter effect. Now you can see the difference between the done up eyebrows and the not done up eyebrows. What do you not think? Not everybody has perfect eyebrows so can yeah, that's so true. That's why we have makeup. Now that she officially looks like Cara Delevingne with that cat eyes and that brows, we're just going to use that spoolie to clean up even further. Now I'm going to just clean up her under eye and be right back, guys. We all make mistakes, guys. Please don't judge. So I'm going to go back with that orange corrector and go back with that same routine that I did previously. To highlight her under eye feather, I'm using this Naked Concealer from Urban Decay. I love this, it's so nice guys, it feels like cake better. Next, we're going to go in with the contour stick from Dior to sculpt that bony face of hers already. What? <laughs> Is she already looking like Kendall Jenner? Yes! Okay, that is her favorite model, guys. Goddess, guys. Goddess. All y'all been wondering how people get really flawless contour looks using stiffing brush, guys synthetic stippling brush to be specific and blend upwards. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna show you how now. You gotta go clockwise and then you gotta blend it upwards so it lifts your face rather than sinks it. You know what I mean? Rather than what? Sinks it. Can you guys see that coming through? I mean, I can see it from a mile away. Wouldn't you think? <laughs> I look flawless, guys. I mean, like, what? Aren't you in love with me? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's because I have itchy fingers. I added a little bit more concealer under her eyes. Just to brighten the eyes a little. Anybody. Yeah. To set her under eye, I'll be using the Ben Nye Banana Powder to give that Kim K slash Kali K, Kali J, what else, you know, look. Oh my god, essential part guys, don't forget to let that sit in your damn face. Let it cook, bake, do whatever, let it sit there for 5 to 10 minutes. Next, I'm just going to dust off, brush off all the excess powder using my powder brush from Morphe. I almost promise you that we're almost there. I'm going back in with the eye, just lining her waterline with this black eyeliner from MAC. Then I'm just going back in with that same emerald green color on her lower lid line. Lower lash line, whatever shit you call that. Yeah, just going through. It's coming through, guys. It's popping. So I'm going to be going back in with that same black color from the Rose Gold Palette from Illamasqua. It's amazing. You can use whatever black eyeshadow you want, but I love this one, guys. It's so nice. Now I'll be going in with my Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer with my Morphe brush. I love this method of applying bronzers because it is so freaking effortless and I learned this method from my girl Sandra Deluxe. Thanks for the tip. Love it. Now to inject some color on her cheek. I will be going in with the color The One from Bare Minerals. I love this. It gives this really nice pale cheek look. I love it. Now for the best fit, we're going in with Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop Highlighter. Just popping that cheek on her hands. Look at that guys. It's coming through. Last but not least, we're going to line her lips with a Dossie K from Kylie Cosmetics, my favorite current lip liner. I don't know where the next footage went, but I went in with the literally gloss from Kylie Cosmetics, which I'm in love with. And that's a wrap, you guys! We're going in with a different color just to give a different perspective to you guys using Huda Beauty Liquid Matte and here we go.